somewhere in the Alps. So, Agent Gracefully, you're part of our spy exchange program from Canada? Try not to say my name too often. I'm trying to travel incognito. Actually, you're traveling in the Alps. What do you have there? I got something very important out of a smelly trash can. Well, of course it's smelly if you got it out of a trash can. You need a hobby. No, not smelly. Smelly! As in the society of meaningless evil larceny lying and yelling. Of course, our evil nemesis. Spy Fox, you've got to get this trash bag to Spy Corps headquarters. No, I've got a better idea. I'd better get this trash bag to Spy Corps headquarters. Oh, and take this gadget from Professor Quack. You may need it. What is it? Dehydrated skis. The side of this little pill is a pair of skis. All you have to do is add water. And pray tell, why would I need a pair of skis? I came to get information, not recreation. You may need them to get away from those bad guys. Good luck, spy talk. Bad guys? Got water? Hello, welcome back to my channel. We're in a hurry. We're in a speed chase, so let's cut to the chase. This is Spy Fox 2, some assembly required. I think. Yep, I think so. Yep. All right. We got to get off this mountain. And the pigs are after us. <laughs> I've got to get out of here. Although this would be a nice getaway cottage, I've got to get this bag to Spy Corps headquarters. This would not be a nice getaway cottage. If I booked an Airbnb and got this, I'd want my money back. There isn't even wood. I would be freezing. So cold. No thanks. Water, Water activated. Water work your magic. Water activated skis. Should invest in some. <laughs> the dehydrated skis are now rehydrated. Oh, they're deactivated or er, deactivated. <laughs> don't fail me now. Skis, dehydrated I mean. skis. So now we're hydrating them. You can hydrate them with anything, apparently. <laughs> they're smelly pigs. <laughs> oh, I mean, apparently pigs are like really I clean, which right? Way I should go. Let's go this way, right into the fray. Let's do it. <laughs> A rhino and an elephant. This Which is like that episode of One Punch Man. Let's go through the cave. Let's go. Boom. Hopped right over him. Beach. Oh. <laughs> oh, hello. That's cute. Da, da, da. Ba, da, ba. We made it. Well, I got in the way with it too. If it weren't for you, meddling animals. <laughs> Did you miss me, Chief? Oh, so you've this armchair looks kind of puby. What have you found? Like just me or no? <laughs> it's a model box one one thousand scale for one evil robot. Oh, and On the side, a... it says "Some Assembly Required." Sounds like an excellent title, title screen. For one Let's of my go. <laughs> it has a mailing label that reads "To La Roche, care of Chateau La Roche, World's Fair." Hmm. That eye looks like Inside an E in fair. Assembly instructions. One one thousand. Take these with you, Spy Fox. Okay. Wow, you can learn a lot by reading. If Smelly is involved, they must be up to their usual no goodness. You'd best go check out this world's fair. Monkey Penny and Quack have already set up the mobile command center. Of course, they I'm have. on my way, Chief. Boing. <laughs> oh. All right. Spy Fox, are you okay? Shaken but not stirred. Monkey. <laughs> nice. So it looks like we're on to something <laughs> so big. weird long pause. Yes, I think Smelly is up to some monkey business, Monkey Penny. And it looks like it's up to you, me, and Professor Quack to get to the bottom Professor of it. Professor Quack. Oh. Well, you and me anyway, Monkey Penny. <laughs> I bought the assembly instructions I got out of the Smelly trash bag. Well, of course it's smelly if you got it out of a trash bag, Spy Fox. <laughs> no, Monkey Penny, not no, smelly. No, it's smelly. Smelly. 
as in society of menial, meaningless, evil, larceny, meaningless, lying, evil, larceny, lying. I don't, I don't know. Why don't you leave those assembly instructions here with me? Then you can refer to them whenever you're back here at the mobile command center. Why don't you leave that here with me? <laughs> and remember, you can contact me via your spy watch at any time. Got it. All right. Don't forget to check out the spy vending machine, Spy Fox. Yeah. It's full of new gadgets for you Let's to try check out. Let's check out our gadgets. I'm sure you'll find some of them quite useful. Thanks. I'm sure now you'll find some busy of them and useful. Get that Roche Thanks. Up a chateau, Laroche, a visit and find out just what he's up to. Right, 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 right. Got it, got it, got it, got it, got it, got it. Got it. Okay, this, we're going to make a fake ID. But don't do that, Okay. You get in trouble if you do that. You have to be a spy fox in order to make fake IDs, okay? Let's see what this gadget is. I bet these are cool. Spy skates. They I look bet sharp, these are cool. Quack. How do they work? <laughs> I've always loved the great beauty of figure skating. But being in the spy biz never left time for the years of training. So I created these. You simply slip them on. Oh, look at the little tutu on the, of the drawing. Skate maneuver you want to perform, <laughs> and voila! The skates with you in them perform it perfectly. Eh, voila! Well, those could sure help to put the villains on ice. Ah, right, Spy Fox. All right. I like these new blueberry flavored blueprints. Blueberry flavored blueprints. I'd try it. What's this? A spy key replicator can. What's the key to this gadget, Professor Quack? What's the key to this That's gadget? That's a one-shot camera, like no other in the uh, world. It's specifically made for key replicating keys. You take a picture of the key you want to replicate, okay. and bake it in an oven. The picture Got it. down <laughs> and hardens into an exact duplicate of the key you Sounds took the picture of. It can only reasonable one to me. Time. But you can take a picture over another picture. If Got you it. bake a picture into the wrong key, nice. just insert the key back in okay. the camera, and it will turn back into key film. I'm sorry, what did you say? Don't worry, <laughs> it's a point-and-shoot, easy-bake gadget. Dang. I'm sorry, were you talking? I need my fiber. <laughs> Spy Fox is like, did you say something? <laughs> the termite grenade. Termite sure grenade? That's bug scary. Free, Professor Quack, how does it work? You've got to be careful with this one, Spy Fox. Toss it at something made of wood and get out of the way. It's good for one serious pulping. That's not oh my god. You want Could you imagine weaponizing good things like ants or termites? I feel like that was a supervillain. There was probably a supervillain out there that did that. Yet. Okay. Got it. Just some and good old regular jumper cables. What in the world could this gadget be used for? Jumping well, a car. It's used to turn off alarm, alarm deactivator. You'll attach one Obviously. end to where the alarm signal is coming in. I have one and in then my attach car. The other end to where the alarm, <laughs> An signal alarm is deactivator. Going out. The alarm no, I don't steal cars. What? Directed harmlessly into the alarm deactivator, keeping the alarm from going off. It just looks like a wire with two that, alligator that clips on was either end. Number yes, six it's million. beautiful in its simplicity, isn't it? Over six million gadgets. Could you imagine I inventing that many things? Floating paper. But man, did those cause heartburn. <laughs> the fingerprint replicator utensil. Fork kit. and spoon. How does this work, Professor? I Quack? mean, yeah, fingerprint detector. You'll eat this one up. Fingerprint Spybox. replicator you place utensil. The fingerprint kit. sending fork device on your target's plate. Right. Then when they pick it up to start eating, their fingerprint will show up on the fingerprint receiving spoon device. Right. This is hands down one right, of your right, best right. spy gadgets yet, Professor Quack. Wow, what a compliment. Matching salt and pepper shaker. Maybe if I mix these with a little goat's milk. Nah, let's not go there. Why would mixing it with goat's milk make it better? The stealth vac. How does it work? Stealth vac. You just hook up the handy nozzle, then press vacuum to suck up the particles into the handy suck travel bag. Suck up the particles. Or press reverse <laughs> vac to blow the particles housed in the travel bag back out through the nozzle attachment. And it does it all in perfect silence. Perfect Ingenious, silence. Professor Quack. Ingenious. <laughs> okay. I'd prefer those between two slices of bread, but when duty calls, 
<laughs> Duty. Okay, I think that might be the last one. Yep, that's the last gadget. We'll come back. We'll see which gadgets we need, because I don't think we use all of them. So I played this one like once or twice, so I barely remember how to play this, so we'll see. Um, let's start by going, we need to meet up, we need to confront La Roche. Excuse me, sir. What seems to be the problem? Well, I hate to be the bearer of bad tidings. I hate to be the bearer. But unfortunately, I cannot allow bearer? To the service entrance. Because he's I'm a sorry, bear. But I can only let waitresses with proper ID in today. Waitresses. See, it has the job oh. title of waitress and a matching photo. Wink, I seem to wink. have lost my ID. Can you let me in without one? I yeah. I feel your pain, sir. Really, I do. You know, I've never tried that. I don't have my ID. Can I just go? Seems that I'll have to find a way to get What's the, the worst you could ID? say? No. <laughs> okay, let's get a photo. Uh, right? Do we a go get a photo, photo first? Photo boot. Just yeah. one of the many joyous pleasures in life. <gasps> it's Pajama Man with Putt Putt. Putt Putt as Pajama Man? <laughs> Look at this clown. <laughs> okay, we Ballerina. need. A waitress. Jockey. Uniform. Dishwasher. Almost. Fisherman. Not quite. Wrestler. Close. Waitress. There it is. Let's look at the background. Dentist. Ah, yeah. That's the one. France. Yep. <laughs> Arena. Arena. No. Okay. No background. Let's just get that photo. Damn. Look how nice he looks. Okay, take that. It looks great. It looks great. Yeah, it does. Okay. Now let's go get that fake ID. I mean, real ID. <laughs> okay. All right. This is a rather cool I've never device. done this before. What is it? <laughs> One of those novelty gadgets that lets you see what you'll look like in 50 years? It's an ID maker. Of my own creation, of course. It's for making identification cards. Fascinating. It's for making it identification you cards. Place a photo in the photo slot. Choose an occupation and any name you like. Then press the any name? ID button. A complete ID will pop out of the machine. Professor, you're amazing. What if I made Professor? an ID, but then I change my mind you're and want amazing. to make a different one? Well, if you don't like the ID you created, you could make another card. Just reset the name and occupation. Insert a new photo, then press the Process ID button again. That sounds like fun. Creating false ID cards is something only secret agents can do. And then right? only when we're on a case. Disclaimer. Right. Professionals only. Roscoe. <laughs> Let's change it to waitress Helicopter first. Pi Helicopter Jockey. pirate. Pirate. <laughs> Dish <wa> <laughs> A Profes professional bowler. Waitress. waitress. Okay. We're a waitress named... Maurice. Maurice. Reginald. Reginald. I kind of like that. Chuck. A Chuck. Um, yeah. <laughs> Chuck the waitress. <laughs> Excellent. The photo's nice. in place. Process. Bam. And now we're Professor Chuck the waitress. Professor Quack's machine works perfectly. Perfect. My identification card is complete. Okay, take it. I expect that this will come in quite handy. Quite handy. Okay, let's try getting inside. How long has this video been already? Oh my god. We haven't gotten even, even gotten inside yet? Ugh. Okay. Uh, excuse me. Sir? <gasps> bow, bow, bow! Here Remember you that are, sound? Sir. That sound One means that we got ID it. <laughs> oh my! I'm so happy that you were oh able my. to find it. Let me guess. It was in your other pants, wasn't it? Why? Yes, it How'd was. you know? You must be psychic. Wait. If you is he even me, wearing I'm pants? For work and they need me in Spy the Fox. Oh, I understand. I won't keep you remember. any longer. I'll just keep your ID on file for you, Chuck. Keep up the good work. Thanks, Have a bud. Spectacular day. And yes, if I, I am Chuck. Tomorrow, <laughs> oh, he is wearing pants. Okay, cool. <laughs> I thought he was pulling a Donald Duck. <laughs> okay. Let's Are there any to great you. culinary moments in Grand Opera? Yes, in Hansel and Gretel, when they cook the witch. It was dreadful. Would you have preferred a different ending? No, I would have used a bay leaf and a lot more pepper. Stir, stir, stir. That's weird. <laughs> 
Oh, it's LaRoche. Ah, Napoleon LaRoche. I should have known you'd taken up with the likes of Smell it. Oh, yeah. So Spycore has sent the famous spy oh, he looks to bored. <laughs> for world domination. Not intimidated world at all. Uh, of course. Ha! Since you're one of the few ha! people who could possibly understand my genius, I will explain my entire plan to you in nauseating detail. Okay, you great, see, thanks. I reversed the scale on the smelly evil dog bot assembly instructions. I've created a 1,000 to 1 <laughs> scale fully functioning evil dog bot. Just where do you think you can hide such a monstrosity? You silly spy. Up your butt. You're standing in it. <laughs> of course, you've disguised the evil dog bot as the centerpiece for the World's Fair. Complete with a revolving restaurant. One has to eat, no? Observe the means to my world domination. People buying tickets for the World Fair do not realize that as they file through the turnstile, they are unwittingly winding the highly advanced clockwork mechanism within highly the Highly advanced. Box. When the one millionth person has filed through, the dog bot, now wound to maximum capacity, will embark upon its horrifying that, rampage. That's pretty clever, actually. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit! <laughs> Once I have unleashed the Wait, was that a laugh or a scream? <laughs> and beg for mercy. It is unstoppable. It cannot be called off because it has no off switch. Yes, I have removed the off switch and hidden it somewhere in the world's face. Wah, wah, so wah. Cleverly, so subtly that you will never find it. We'll That's never find it. Think, ever. This video will go on forever. Of me just trying even to find it. Find the off switch, you would still need the okay, we need a code. Turn the switch off. And even if you had the off switch and the activation code, okay. you could never hope to get past the diabolically clever security device located in the evil dog bot's Achilles heel. A which Achilles is the only way heel. To the dog bot's inner workings. It is hopeless, Monsieur Le Fox. Yeah, no we can't do it. Me. We couldn't do it. <laughs> Let's just give up now. Let roll credits. Thanks for watching. Oh, um, don't forget to subscribe. Will. Bye. And now, Bye, guys. Bye, Fox. Adieu. Just kidding. The world needs us. Oh, except we're trapped now. Whoops. Judging by those monstrous metallic molars, I've been imprisoned in the monstrous dog bot's mouth. How molars. humiliating. Who wrote this dialogue? It's I must amazing. find a way out of this cell so I can stop that Award evil winning, roach. to be honest. If I could only reach that fire escape through these teeth. Well, we're fucked. <laughs> I can gather information about La Roach with this talk balloon. Okay, thanks. Was that a harmonica? <laughs> okay. Um, let's open Baroque's this up. goons didn't follow the assembly instructions close enough. Goons. They seem to have left a few gears missing out of this contraption. That's a fun word. Okay. Um, let's I try this, this one. this loose gear is supposed nice. to go so This gear is nope. too small. Yep. This, this gear nope. is too big. This gear must yep. go somewhere in Easy. Easy well, strats. Well, I guess it's like they say. The tooth shall set you free. Ha. <laughs> Oh no, my battery! Talk about escaping by the skin of your teeth. Now to stop LaRoche and his evil plans for world domination. My spy watch is beeping. I'd better answer it. Please stand by. Spy Fox, Agent Walter Wireless has intercepted a microfish message from Dottie Dash. Where's it coming from? It sounds like it's coming from an exhibit called We World. We World, eh? Sounds silly. The message is staticky, and Walter Wireless needs to get closer to hear it. You can pick him up here at the Mobile Command Center. By the way, I've recorded Napoleon LaRoche's evil plans, and I'm sending them to you via the Spy Watch. I look forward to hearing the dish. Monkey Penny, out. All right. Where to first? Let's see. Mm. We need to go to We World. That's what they were saying. And that's in this direction. So first, we need to figure out what's stopping us. 
You must be the guard who defends this place. <laughs> Classified information, laddie. How did you find that out? You're dressed as a guard and you're defensive. <laughs> Let's just try going in. Why Where not? do you think you're going? I'd like to go into the exhibit. Sorry, laddie. I can't let you into Wee World until the sign says open. And does it? Oh, I probably shouldn't stand in front of the sign. Yeah, probably shouldn't. Oh, it says closed. Well, I guess it's over then. It says closed. <gasps> ba -da -ba -bow! Oh, well, would you look at that? It says hey, open. Where are you going? If only were that you easy. Wee World <laughs> until the sign says open. It does. does. The sign say open? Actually, it does. No. Yeah. Oh, hey, you're right. Go <laughs> on in and enjoy yourself at Wee World, laddie. Okay. Ooh. I don't think we can. Yeah, there's an alarm. Oh no! Crossing that but line sets the alarm off. We have a gadget I need to for figure that. Figure out some way to shut that alarm off. Okay, let's go back and see. But first, we're gonna check something. We're gonna go this way. Right? No, not this way. Um, let's go to the ice skating rink and see if there's something there. No, there isn't. I don't think. Yeah. Usually there's something there that we can get. I think. I'm, I barely remember how to play this. Um, I don't know if there's something there we can get. We'll come back, I guess. Okay, fine. Okay, fine. I'd better check oh. my spy watch. Please stand by. Hello. <laughs> spy Fox, an informant left some information for you at the ice rink in the 1974 Golden Melon Skates trophy. Oh. I'm in there like swimwear. Remember, it's in the 1974 <laughs> Golden Melon Skates trophy. It's very urgent. Monkey Penny, out. Right. It's in the 1974 Golden, Golden Melon Skates Trophy. Golden it's Melon very Skates. Urgent. You're out. Got it. All right. Let's... Hold up there, sir. You have a stamp on your hand? <laughs> no, I can't say that oh, I look do. look at the dog. <laughs> I better stamp your hand so you can get back into the fair. Okay, great. Thanks. Didn't have to come there you are, sir. Have a nice day. Thank you. Whoa, look at the most social that guy. Okay, let's go back and get our gadget. Okay, this way. And then. My fox, I've been waiting for you. Smell oh, shit, is up hey. to their usual bag of dirty tricks, I see. Walter Wireless, Spy Corps' Walter top Wireless. tracking bus. Good to be working with you again, Walt. Uh, you oh my gosh, I thought well, his I arm was like being bent in like right. two different Sorry Look, it looks that. like it's so bent picked up a two different ways, but it's actually Dash. two arms on top of That's each right, other. But all I could make out was something regarding an off switch activation code before the signal right. went dead. I've got to find Dottie Dash by Fox. This must be important. The signal was traced to an exhibit in the fair called Wee World. Yeah, we're trying Wee to get World, into eh? Wee World. We get Sounds it. like your kind of place. Well, hop aboard, oh. Walter, and I'll get you into this wee world. I'm in there You're just like on his swimmer. nose. That's <laughs> cute. That's my life. <laughs> Is I think he's a flea. If fleas were that big, that'd be scary. That's okay, let's get this one. Get it, 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 get it. Perfect. And now we go here. And now we go back. Uh, okay. Quick edit, let's go. Bam! Bam! Let's go. <laughs> All right. Uh, let's go I over here. I do believe that is a freight elevator. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Thanks. Okay, we gotta go up. We got to go. That's a weird looking freight elevator. I don't think I've ever seen a freight ele elevator look like that. Have you? Okay, not that. I need my gadget. Boop. I can set the alarm deactivator oh, right here until I can figure out oh, where to geez. attach the clips. Okay. Um What? Oh, it's the colors. Okay. Green, red, blue. 
green, red, blue. Yeah. Green, red, blue. Perfect. Uh. I've got the electricity turned off. Oh I'd better gosh. hurry and figure out what to do next. Oh, these right here. Ah, the sound of silence. Whew, the alarm that was a little stressful. <laughs> Now, I should be. Able I mean, to get to I, that I world exhibit, totally had that the entire the time. I knew exactly what I was doing. Okay, let's go back. <laughs> and then let's go into Wii World. <laughs> oh, God, that's this terrifying. This opening is too small <laughs> to get through. It'll take someone much smaller than myself to get through. Really? And who could that be? Get in there, bitch! <laughs> there you go, Walter. You've got to find Dotty Dash, the microfish. You can there you go, Walter. Me, Fox. Okay. Get in this the fucking boat. To the dream house. Get in the fucking boat. <laughs> this is the only way to travel. Right. Oh, look at those skyscrapers. That's kind of cool. Oh, and those farm fields? That's fun. Okay, now get, get in the fucking house. Okay. So first, we need to move the TV. What a shocking waste of valuable attic space. <laughs> Pull down the stairs. I've been told that it's impolite to stare, but in this case, I'll make an exception. <laughs> and then we need to lift up this lift. Right? Well now, things oh, are wow. starting to look up. Things are starting to look up. Okay, now you go up. I swear to God. That's cute! Okay, we need to move this fridge because it's in the way. The refrigerator is now in cold storage. <laughs> and then we need to open the door. This button, <laughs> open that door. Nice. Let's take My instinct the tells me elevator. I'm getting closer to Donnie Dash's location. My instincts tell me. Oh, what an interesting house, though. Okay, we need to open the drawers of this. I can open and close the drawer, top drawer with this button. But yeah, we will can. It sort my socks. Uh, let's open that one. I almost this accidentally went back. And closes the bottom drawer. Oh, we need one more in order to step up. Typically, I would open and close the drawer by hand. Okay. <laughs> and the seventy-four million dollar question is. Who invented the retractable TV? Seventy-four million dollars. Calm, cool thinking. <gasps> Look at the off. kitty. Film oh, I like those plants on those sill. On that, those plants on that windowsill. Okay, I can speak English. You know. Around and around and down. This okay. is Walter Wireless. Let's move this. And then Eureka. I think we can just go through, right? Yeah. Walter, I'm glad hey! you found me. I've been on surveillance here you in okay? the world, searching the airwaves for anything suspicious. I intercepted a smelly message that has to do with some a activation smelly code. smelly message. My equipment <laughs> went on the fritz before I could get the whole message to uh, the core. We thought you were it's attacked. Really important. I'm sure it is, but if it was a radio message, how do you know it smelled bad? Not smelly. 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 Society for <laughs> meaningless evil larceny lying and yelling. All right. Society Our for meaning nemesis. meaningless. So what was the rest of the message? Uh, uh, evil larceny, right lying and yelling. The activation code is. I remembered cherry, it. Cherry, apple, orange. Got it. Walter Wireless. Cherry, Collins, apple, Spy orange. Fox. Don't forget. Don't forget it. Come in, Please Spy remind Fox. me. I read you loud and clear, Walter. Did remind me in the comments. I did. I'm going to transmit the activation code Dottie intercepted to you via the spy watch. Stay tuned. Cherry, apple, orange. Cherry, apple, it, orange. Good job, Dotty. Thanks, Spy Fox. The rest is up to you now. Oh, shit, Good the rest is up Fox. to us. Oh, my this God, the world Wireless rests in our hands. Off. I've okay, got bye. the off switch activation coat. Now that LaRoche is in for it. Nice. Okay, so we have the code. Oh. Is that a dog? It's a weird looking dog. It had like a five o'clock shadow. <laughs> I had to wait in line for over Look 12 there. hours to ride the ride. Famous, Famous French, French pastries, pastries of, of the past. past. A green field adventure. It was the highlight of the fair. Oh. 
<laughs> so tiny. And then it refused to let me on because I was not tall enough to go to the turnstile. He's like, no, bitch. Oh. That pout. Uh, taller kids laughed at me. Oh, 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 oh. Would be I who would do the laughing. <laughs> I am laughing. Oh, God. See, it is I who is laughing. Oh, his name's Ma Napoleon. That's why he's dressed up that way. Is this racist? I might slightly be racist. There will be no way for anyone sorry. to stop me from crushing all the turnstiles and conquering the world. Okay. So, we got the code. Now we just need to figure out a way to get into the Achilles heel. And then we need the off switch button. Everybody caught up? Okay. So now we need to go into the ice rink. But how do we get into the ice rink? It's one of these trophies, I think. It says 1974 Golden Melon Skates Trophy. <gasps> that one. What oh. have we here? Aha. What this is seems it? to be some kind of code. St. Joan of Bark. What? Did he say fart? <laughs> what is it? It's some kind of a picture message. Restructo Say Joan of Arc code. wax statue plus wood equals Restructolux code. Interesting. Hmm. The Restructolux code must be hidden in that wax statue that's actually not made of wax but made of wood instead. Oh, okay. So let's go get our gadget. We got the termite bomb. Let's go get that termite bomb. And then we'll go into the wax museum. Bam, bam, bam. Da, da, do, do. Jump cut. Do, 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 do. Transition. Do, do, do. Yep. Okay. We're gonna get the... Termite bomb. How does this termite grenade work again, Professor Quack? Oh shit! <laughs> you toss it and something made of wood. Uh, I didn't want to do that. I just wanted to take it. <laughs> okay, That's get it. The termite grenade. We know. Twice. <laughs> Three times. Oh god, the police! They're after Spy Fox. All right, let's go into the wax museum. Is it in there? I don't know if I can see it. How are we gonna get him to look away? Watching one monitor at a time. I do believe that you have the greatest job in the world. Intense concentration is needed. Don't you get a headache? I do, but it's all part of the job. Hmm. What if I just use this? That's not going to do me any good. Okay. I need something to distract him. Let's go back and look at our gadgets. There's gotta be a gadget in here for us to use. Okay. We're gonna get That's this. That's the stealth back. Let's see what happens. Okay. Maybe if we go to other areas and then we'll figure it out from there yeah let's try going this way uh, I don't think there's anything with the bear okay let's go this way see if we can find anything I don't think there's anything there cuz oh, uh, actually I should check I should check Oh, science. Science! <laughs> um, play? Restructolux. A new scientific oh. breakthrough. The great Restructolux Destructolux. Handy travel appliance of the future. The new revolutionary travel device. Simply take a solid object. It's a travel device? Place it in the Destructolux. Oh. Punch in the, the two-letter code. S J S J. Then punch in the three-digit code. Oh no! 
Watch the great Destructolux change solids into liquid molecules which can easily be transported in a small container. Take the small container to the great Restructolux. Punch in the exact same three-digit two-letter code as you did on the Destructolux. S.J. Then, watch the liquid molecules turn back into a solid. Oh no, how do we know what the... The amazing great Restructolux oh, Destructolux. Oh, maybe that's the cherry apple orange? Interesting. That small container looked like a vacuum of the future. Okay, okay. We'll come back to that. Let's see... In here. Everything on sticks. <laughs> hey. Hello, little boy. My name is Fox, Spy Fox, and what is your? My name is Elmo, and the Cape Cod's biggest fan, though I'm small in stature. I know all about it. Born Willie Blowfish in Tupelo, Mississippi. Young Willie had dreams of hearing the big time like his idols, Marvelous Marvin Marlin and stupendous Stu Sturgeon. His natural daredevil ability caught the attention of the magician, Amazing Melvin Mackerel. Breathe now. <laughs> That's cute. The Amazing Melvin takes Willie Blowfish on the road with him. Amazing Melvin imparts on Willie Blowfish all the ancient cape tricks learned from an indigenous people. Willie quickly masters the cape and changes his name to the Cape Cod. I have to stop now. I'm starting to shake just thinking about the oh Cape Oh my god. I can use this talk balloon to gather information about Elmo, the okay. Cape Cod fan. It's so cute, but I have no idea what you're saying. Okay, let's go back. I don't think there's anything else there. Um, this... We can clone things here. We'll use that later. Maybe. I don't know. I don't know. I just work here. I don't know how this works. I mean, I'm Spy Fox. I know exactly what I'm doing. Okay. Nothing here. <laughs> Usually there's like a plant, but it's not this iteration. So don't worry about it. Okay. Let's go back this way. Oh, hey, you're the amazing Cape Cod. I know your biggest fan. Cod, I just met a kid who's your number one fan. Yeah. He knows all about you and your he, cape act. He sure really? does. I do believe that he cares. Doobie. No, I'm washed up. It oh, shit. break his heart. Oh, jeez. I now can gather just... information about the caped cod with this talk balloon. Just a game of telephone. Okay, let's go back to... What's his name? I don't even remember. <laughs> a kid... <laughs> Just a kid. Whatever. He's the kid. The puppy. <laughs> He's cute though. <laughs> okay. Hey, you'll never guess who so, I you know. So, really like the caped cod. Yeah. What would you do if I introduced you to him? Right. The caped cod! I'll jump up and down like this. <laughs> and stop suddenly. And tell him that I'm his number one fan. Okay. Yes, okay. well, I'll see what I can do. I'll you see what I can do. Yeah, yeah. Oh! He's God. I can use this talk balloon to gather information about Elmo, the caped cod fan. Yeah, he's gotta do the stunt now because look at this talk bubble. Look how freaking excited he is. He's that excited. Okay. All right. Come on, buddy. Chin you up. Make this kid's wish come true if you performed again. Exactly. Really? really? You say he's a fan? He's Absolutely a fan. Absolutely rabbit. He drools every time rabid. he says your name. <laughs> I'd hate to break his heart. And I'd hate to see him drool. I can gather information about the caped cod with oh this top balloon. Oh my god. <laughs> okay. We just gotta get the kid over here. Easy. I hope this is the last round. <laughs> Okay, uh, kid, come with me. <laughs> I'll try to set it up. Don't so do you this at home. Cape Cod. <laughs> Don't do follow say? strangers just because they know your hero. <laughs> it's a lie. Huh? I bet if the Cape Cod they're gonna had kidnap a chance you and to they're gonna eat you. One fan, Elmo, <laughs> so don't do it. That would cheer him up. That's the lesson to be learned here. I oh. can use this talk balloon to get information about Elmo, the Cape Cod fan. Okay, one more time. Come on. 
Look how excited huh. he is in that You've talk got bubble. To see this kid. He's your absolute number one fan. <laughs> yeah, absolute he really likes one. me that much. Yeah. Oh, there he is. I heard you're a fan. I'm not a fan. I'm Elmo. Ha <laughs> 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 Mr. Cobb has come on our show. <laughs> Seen your movie? You even heard is that all your German? Oh. Which trick would you like to see? Yes. Which one? Please. All of them. Oh, here we go. Evil Knievel style. Is that, was that his name? I think that was his name, right? Oh, is he gonna make it? He just dies in front of the kid. <laughs> I mean, that's not funny. Uh, who should I make this out to? Yes. To the kid. Thanks for all you've done. Uh, what have you done, kid? Right. Signed, <laughs> the card. Would you like to see my collection of Cape Cod action figures? I even have the one He's with so like, happy. black things and the kung fu <laughs> grip. Gee, Winkin, that would be swell, Mr. Uh... Call me sir. Yes, sir. Come along, kid. Call me Wait, sir. I almost forgot. Do you have the one with the glow-in-the-dark teeth? And, oh, there's the limited edition Bionic Cod. Oh, and did I tell you I have the last bag of Cape Cod barbecue sauce and a kitty litter ever sold? And it's never been used! Kitty litter? <laughs> he's a fish. Can we the take Cape the cape? Cod's famous parachute cape. Now that he's hung it up for good, I'm sure he won't mind if I borrow it. Let's get it. Nice. Maybe we can cover the camera with it. Let's go. Wow, this one's a long one. <laughs> I think. Okay. It's okay. The power of editing it won't be too long. <laughs> this looks like a nice wax museum. The wax museum is so pretty. A picture of it was taken for one of the free souvenir postcards. Free souvenir postcard, hmm? I wonder where I can get a free souvenir postcard of the wax museum. Oh, I know. We get postcards at the ticket booth, the ticket counter. Free postcards, right? Here. These look interesting. What are these card like photographs? Those are complimentary postcards of the World's Fair exhibit. Mm. You have a very nice voice. Thanks for the compliment. <laughs> the postcards are free, but they're limited to one per person. Wouldn't that be but weird if someone came up to you and they were like, anytime you, feel you have like a really nice well, voice? Let me see. Ooh, here we go. Let's uh, take this mm, one. This wax museum exhibit postcard seems to wick away moisture pretty well. I'll take it. Okay. Let's go back with the postcard. Maybe he'll let us in if we have the postcard. For whatever reason. Like, what is... In what world does that make any sense? Okay. That's not going to do me any good. Shit. Oh... Oh, that's so smart. Oh, and then we can sneak in. Oh, he'll never know. <laughs> there, that should trick the security guard. Hopefully he won't notice that it's not quite lifelike. Nice. Okay, let's go in. Sneaky. Okay. Oh, we throw the termite, termite bomb at that statue. This one. Once we know again, it's made the of wood. Spy fox laughs in the face of danger. Hey, <laughs> danger! Nice haircut. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Ba -da -ba -ba. <laughs> Could you imagine if grenades before they went off they made an alarm sound? <laughs> <laughs> I don't like that. What's this? It says Destructolux Restructolux code. 451. <gasps> 451 SJ. 451SJ. Okay. Now we go to La Roche. Oh, here we go. Okay, let's go. Let's go out of the park and go see La Roche. At Chateau La Roche. Go right in, Chuck. Thanks, buddy. <laughs> I like that name, though. Chuck. 
Okay. Let's go. Oh, <gasps> there he is. Nobody talk. Okay. Everybody be quiet. Uh. When I look at, at that thing, alarm bells go off in the back of my brain. I just know I've seen it before. I just know it. Okay, this one. Oh gosh. Is S. This one is J. Oh shit, what are the numbers? 471. Is it? I don't remember. I remember this device from a film I saw, and okay. if I'm remembering correctly, something with a hose connects there. Okay, now we just need this to suction it out. I need to enter the activation code. Oh, Without oh. it, the Destructo Lux is as useless as Wait. a lead balloon. It's <laughs> very specific. It's the Destructo Lux Restructo Lux code. Four, five, one. Uh, four, five, one. I'm an idiot. The destructo lock code go. is set correctly. <gasps> Stealthily, quietly. The stealth vac worked perfectly. Nice. The evil robot off switch particles are now inside the stealth vac. I must <laughs> commend Quack on his cleverness. Right under LaRoche's nose. <laughs> what an idiot. Oh. Okay, now let's go this way, right? Okay, so uh, what do we do with this though? Let's go to the Achilles heel and see what we can see there. Uh huh. Oh. All right. Oh, he dropped hmm. it. That bad guy put on those glasses, breathed on that breath device, and the secret door opened. Right. That must be the secret door La Roche mentioned that leads right. to the inner workings of the evil dogbot. I Except need to figure out how to get in there. That doesn't look like the Achilles heel. Wouldn't it be like more over here? Okay, let's get these goggles. And then... These rose-tinted glasses might come in handy. They might. You're right. Um, let's see. Okay. Now let's go this way. Uh, okay. I, there's gotta be a way... I still don't know how to get out that... The off switch. Okay, let's try... Going up here. And then we'll look down and take a look. Whoa! That's too high up. I don't like this. Okay, put on your goggles. Nice. Everything looks rosy behind a pair of rose tinted glasses. Weird. What's this? Let's it looks look. like a pair of binoculars. Ooh. I can see that goon breathing into the analyzer. That goon. Something's appearing on screen. What is it? It looks like pineapple right side up cake. That breath analyzer is checking for the aroma of pineapple right side up cake. Pineapple right side up cake. Oh. I just need to eat some pineapple right side up cake and breathe into that breath analyzer and then I'll be able to get in that evil dog butt. Okay, okay, okay. I can use this talk balloon to gather information about the breath analyzer food, pineapple, right side up cake. Okay, we'll talk to the chef about it. So let's get there. All right, let's talk to the chef. Can you prepare pineapple right side up cake? Please. Why, I won the French cooking medal of honor for my pineapple right side up cake. Oh, how convenient. Of course I can make it. <laughs> I have everything I need right here, except Do you? two pineapples. If you brought me two pineapples, I'd be more than happy to make you my fabulous pineapple right side up cake. You need two pineapples? Two pineapples, eh? I'll keep my eyes open. Okay. Oh, I think it was at the place with the food on a stick. Okay. There's a lot of walking around in this one. <laughs> 
All right, let's try going to the food on a stick stand. Oh, look at the pizza on a stick. <laughs> Why does he have a cowboy hat? <laughs> okay, food on a stick, let's go. Pineapple, can I have can it? Can I please have a pineapple on a stick? Mm -hmm. Of course you can, young man. Oh, look how prickly it's it is. It's fabulous fun when it's food on a stick. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, now we need to clone it because we need two of them. All right, there it is. Nice, nice, nice. Okay, uh, here, put that here, and then you we'll have two. It? You got it. Place any one full item on the pad. Press the button, and one becomes two. Two from one. <laughs> I don't like this. I, am. I have this pineapple. Don't come running to us with your troubles. I think he wants us to clone it, doll. Very well, Lee. You do the honors. No, after you, I insist. No, please, after you. Oh I'll my do god. It. <laughs> Whoa, that transition that though. Amazing. Nice. Yes, but does it do Julianne Fox? You can always tell what a customer is not going to buy, Lee. You speak the truth, doll. Okay, let's try going back to the science exhibit and then extracting the particles. Then, watch the liquid molecules turn back into a solid. Huh, okay, we just need to find the, the amazing great other side. Destructolux, Destructolux. I don't know where that one is. Isn't science amazing? That small container looked like a vacuum of the future. Okay, let's, uh, let's head out for now. I don't know where else it could be. And now that we have the two pineapples... Let's go this way. Okay. We gotta go back to the chef and get ourselves a right side up pineapple cake. Right? That's what it was called? <laughs> go right in, Chuck. Thanks, buddy. <laughs> All right, lady. Here. Here you are. Two big juicy pineapples. Juicy. <laughs> Wonderful. How exciting that you should find two so <laughs> Why does she look so shady? To be exactly like, alike. Perhaps they're related. <laughs> Perhaps they're related? What does that even mean? Kafka's instant pineapple right side up cake. You won't flip for it, but it's good. <laughs> the secret to gourmet cooking is careful mixing of only the It's actually just two pineapples. <laughs> Hopefully we'll have the opportunity to try that one of these days. It's actually two pineapples, you cut them in half, and then one of them you take the top half, and the other one you take the bottom half. Ooh. <laughs> okay, now we have pineapple right side up cake breath. Thank you! My breath should now be potent enough to get me past that electronic sniffer and all right, all right. workings of the giant We're getting robot somewhere. <laughs> okay. Let's go back to the Achilles heel of the dog. Let's go. We're so close. Oh my god. Okay. Oops. I did not mean to go that way. Um, don't mind me. <laughs> Okay, let's go this way. And then this way. And then we'll go this way. And now, let's just go. Oh, yeah, we did it. Ba -ba Ah, what do you know about that? Accepted. Pineapple right side up cake did the trick. Now it I sure can come did. and go as I please. Hell yeah. Okay. Where the fuck is this? What are we doing in here? Where do we go first? La Roche's breath analyzer was no match for a clever international spy like me. What I must be in the belly of La Roche's there? evil beast. I should have a look around. Okay. Oh shit! Look at them. <gasps> Halfway there. It's almost to a million. 
they are making possible my plans for world domination. Well, world domination. Style, which rotates a series of gears beneath the admissions oh. gate. That's just a screwdriver. That appears sound. That looks logical. From looks there, like it could work. Of gears turn, could you imagine a nail that shaft, long? Which turn, yet more I'm sure there is. There's probably the a nail that long. That will power my unstoppable, evil or a screw. Bot. I think that it's called a when screw. The one I'm tourists come an idiot. <laughs> My evil dog bot will be completely wound. And then uh, I don't I will like this heartbeat. The dog bot on the unsuspecting world and conquer it in the name of Smelly. <laughs> oh, Roach, that is a good one. Oh, that is a good one. Okay, let's go this way. Oh. We can go in here. Right? No. The door is locked. Oh, that's annoying. Okay, let's try going this way. Oh my god. This way? Oh, let's look at this. I wonder what these controls do. Oh my god. What if you just turn it off? That looks like it might be the way to the Restructolux room. I wonder how I can get down there. How can- Oh, the cape! Not exactly what all the superheroes are wearing this season, but not bad. <laughs> Let's try Got to make down? it down to the Restructolux. I hope the COD's special cape will do the trick, or it's Fox Pancake for me. Here goes! <laughs> nice! Whew, lost the cape, but the fox stays intact. Great, okay. Oh, there it is. This must be La Roche's laboratory. I bet he creates all sorts of evil contraptions here. Hmm. Okay, um, now we can reconstruct the switch. The stealth vac is full and attached to the Restructolux. Now all I need to do is select the two-letter, three-digit code. Got it, got it, got it. Okay, four, five, one, and then S, and J. The Restructolux nice. code is all set. Hey, yo, let's go. The Restructolux worked. I'd better hang on to this off switch. Yo, okay, so we got the code, and we got the off switch, and now, oh gosh, it's so close to a million! Soon my diabolical plan will reach its fiendish fruition, I will be unstoppable! That was pretty quick. Ooh, what <laughs> can possibly stand up to the onslaught of a big giant mechanical dog robot? My sophisticated machine oh, will march across the surface of the earth and claim Those people it look like Sour Patch Kids. <laughs> oh, well, shout my name to the skies. Le and they're, they're dropping Le popcorn Le on the Le dog. Le How is that supposed to help? And I will say, yes, what is it? All the world leaders will sit up and beg for mercy. He's got like a little Spiders lazy eye. Huh? <laughs> anyway, moving along. Okay. So now all we need... What was the last thing we needed? We just need to get inside. Okay, that's all we needed. Um, we go up. Oh, that is a weird elevator. I'll leave the door unlocked in case I need to go back there. Great. Okay, now let's go down. And then let's go this way. Are we gonna do it? Are we... Uh, did we get there? Oh, okay. Um, let's see. How do we get in here? Oh, do we need another gadget? Hmm. The opening and closing of that door must be controlled by some sort of fingerprint recognition <gasps> device. Right. I wonder what would happen if... Mm. A picture of La Roche. Hmm. Right, we need to use the utensils. Ah, we have to go all the way back. Okay. 
<gasps> Whoa, that was close. I'll bet if I want to get into that room, I'll have to find a way to get a copy of LaRoche's fingerprint. Got it. Okay, now... Oh, shit. Oh, gracious me. Oh, my oh, dear. Oh, dear. Oh. Excuse me, what's the matter? <laughs> I don't have a single fork for Mr. LaRoche's dinner, and he gets so surly when he has to wait for his food. Well, you know the old saying, surly to bed and surly to rise. Ah, that's LaRoche's dinner? Yes, spit-roasted boot bernays. Don't tell me. The sauce isn't... Oh, yes, it is. Ugh. I think I'm going to be sick. Now, where are all those forks? Wait, what is the sauce? Um, do we just take it? So, that spit-roasted boot bernays is LaRoche's dinner. Oh, wait, we need to yes, and I've got present to fork for the utensils. Okay. I got utensils. I got them right here. Here you are. It so happens I carry a fork for just this kind of situation. A fork? Just this situation. I knew this would happen. That's why I brought I a fork with camp, me. It Everywhere I go. At all times. <laughs> Thank you. I better get this spit roasted boot bernays out to nice. the roast before okay. it starts acting like a heel. Ha 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 ha. It's only a matter of time now before I have LaRoche's prints. Perfect. Eat that <clears> ugly <throat> boot. Spit roasted boot bernays, my favorite dish. This boot was made for eating. And that's <laughs> what I'll do. Pretty soon that boot is going to be inside of you. <laughs> is that how old that there song is? is? Now I'm almost ready to give LaRoche the oh boot. God. And I okay. don't mean for dinner. Let's go. Oh my gosh. We better She's save the day. Tough, Why is her tongue sticking out like that? Okay. Go, go, go. We gotta go. We got places to be. Maybe I... Uh, yeah, yeah, I get it. <laughs> okay. Quick edit. Let's go. Beep. Nice. Okay. Back. <laughs> Alright. Now we can use the gadget on the fingerprint Let's scanner. Let's give this a try, shall we? Da -da -da -da! <laughs> Bam! Thanks. <laughs> like the old song says, a spoonful of LaRoche's fingerprint helps the steel door go down. Yeah, that's exactly how the song goes. <laughs> oh shit! Okay, okay, okay. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Okay. That must be where I need to set the off switch activation code. All right. Cherry, apple, orange, oh yes, nice, okay, now the off switch button, nice. At last the off switch is in its place and the activation the code is set correctly. Of the dog, oh no, we got to a million, ah! we were too late. I like that At booty shake. The <laughs> customer has come to the turnstile. The dog bot is now fully operational. Let's hit it. Let's hit it. <laughs> uh oh, I turn it off. This is a good Must get to, 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 to the off. Just switch. turn it off. Wow, that was slick. Bad dog bot. Sit. <laughs> Idiot! What? Spy Fox! No! You called? LaRoche, your <laughs> evil days are over! I don't think so! The sun has not yet set! <gasps> He's getting away! Oh! <laughs> Get him! I should go in after him. Go! Oh. <laughs> that was so stressful. Oh, he's right there. Okay. That roach won't get away from me. I wonder what he's up to now. We gotta... That spy fox thinks he's so smart. I have one more trick to play before I make my escape through these sewer pipes. One more trick? This computer program will set up a million toasters hidden in the dog box. Toaster program engaging. Simultaneously burn a million pieces of toast. 
leaving a dark gray cloud hanging over the fair. Oh my god. Much, much like Seattle. <laughs> oh no. That's There's rude. A bug in the program. I feel personally. I must check my variables uh, and attacked. track down all the straight pixels. That dastardly LaRoche won't get away with that. Not with Spy Fox on his trail. Okay, we gotta open that escape. But we gotta make sure that he escapes into jail. Because <laughs> right now it's gonna go to Fiji, but we wanna get, get it to go to jail. <laughs> to spy jail. <laughs> okay. Let's push the button. I think that made the pipe move. Right. Maybe one more time? There we go. That's more like it. Okay. Now. Let's go up this way. And we need this the ball hammer. This ball-peen hammer looks interesting. Ball-peen in hammer. Okay. Now. We go back this way. Oh, wait. Yeah, 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 yeah. We need to get a wrench. Uh, let's go this way. Perfect. Okay. Now, we break the glass. Because this is an emergency. <laughs> nice. I like that flare. Okay. Now we go back. I got it. This way. Go, go, go. Hurry! <laughs> Go this way. Perfect. Yes, it's all coming according to plan. <laughs> okay, so now we open up the hatch. Yeah. Okay. And now hey, that moved the sewer grate out of the way. Let's go over here back upstairs <laughs> you'll never see it coming okay open the hatch pull the lever it's down pull the, the lever for cronk. you LaRoche what you again uh oh uh oh <laughs> Flushed him down the toilet. <laughs> Idiot. <laughs> and we plugged it up. Because, like, he totally couldn't open up that plug, right? Well, he's short. He's, like, tiny. <laughs> wow. We did it. For doing such a commendable Yay! job and catching Napoleon the Rose spy box, you'll get my eternal gratitude. Hell yeah. Check out that award, I though. I had excellent help on this case, Got a Chief. smile on ah, the back. Ah, yes. <laughs> I present to you the Grand Golden Family Approved Fortified Supreme Certificate of Excellence. <gasps> Thanks, Chief. It was wow. all in the line of duty. What an honor. <gasps> we did it! Yay! Great work everybody <laughs> well that was spy fox some assembly required that was great okay <laughs> let me know if you liked it i always enjoy these games they're always like cute and nostalgic um yeah don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more content and i will see you in the next one thanks bye guys the guy with the moves and the smarts to solve every crime. Bye -bye. He's the fox with the guy.